When I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a waving flag. America is known to be the land of opportunity. People from all over the world have migrated here in search of a new life. Immigration began as early as the 17th and 18th centuries and still continues to present day. The Irish make up a huge portion of those who have migrated to America. In fact, by the 1840s, the Irish accounted for nearly half of all immigrants in the United States. The Great Famine in 1845 was the main cause for the sudden fleet to America. The famine was a period of mass starvation and disease. Families that were struggling in Ireland moved to America in hope for success. Ellis Island was a passageway into America for many. After the long journey, the stop in New York was required to enter the country. The federal government took control of immigration by creating an inspection site that each individual had to pass in order to enter the country. The immigrants were tested on their health and intelligence and, unfortunately, many didn't pass and were immediately sent home. Mr. Moynihan is an Irish immigrant whose story we will share today. Although Mr. Moynihan did not experience the famine or Ellis Island, he had other reasons to migrate to America. Mike grew up on a small farm in Killarney, Ireland, with his four brothers and sisters. His dad was a farmer, but he tinkered with other jobs like working in factories in the local town. His mom stayed at home with the family. Living in a small suburban farmhouse in Ireland was a struggle for Mike and his whole family. You Basically, I grew up on a farm that was poverty stricken. Yeah. I mean, uh, to kind of to illustrate that, there was no bathroom in my house till I was 30, which yeah. kind of is a hard thing to imagine. Yeah. I'm only in my 40s, and to grow up 40 years ago or whatever, almost 50 years ago, and to have no bathroom in your house till you're 10, that's kind of hard to imagine. The schools in Ireland were great. Mike went through high school and college, where he decided to become a teacher. He got a strong teaching job in Ireland when he graduated, but it wasn't too long after this that he made his move to the United States and had to quit his job. He initially only came to America during June, July, and August to play in summer leagues. I was playing almost professional sports in Ireland, and as a teacher over there, I got offers from teams in America to come over here and play just for summer leagues. Oh, cool. And so that's what helped me to come over here initially. And I would stay here for July, August especially, and go back for September. After a few years, then I got, I, I got a teaching job here in America. So that's what helped me to stay here. He found that America had a lot to offer and was pleased with his choice to move. Perhaps more opportunity, as they say, the land of opportunity. And maybe in life, as you mature and get older, better chances to do things that you want to do, ultimately. Upon arrival, Mr. Moynihan noticed the immediate differences between America and Ireland. Like coming into the land of, like, Dallas, the TV show, and really exotic America stuff, like Hollywood. Yeah. It's nice to come to a summer environment where summer is summer, and it's 80 degrees and 90 degrees, and this Cape Cod and yeah. beaches and all that fun stuff. Change or... Yeah, well, I remember my mom and dad driving me to the airport, and sobbing because it was like the end of the world I was <laughs> going to die or they would never see me again that was clearly like a throwback to the old days yeah. when people who immigrated that could have been the last time they were ever seen those okay. ships were called the uh, great ships mr moynihan brought a lot of his irish culture here to america to this day he continues to play sports like hurling and gaelic football he gets his whole family involved ooh, ooh, you know the definition ooh, ooh, of a baller <laughs> I played here for years and years, into my 30s basically. I always was a runner, or like a, an athletic runner too, back home in Ireland, and that came over with me here. And so those things easily transfer. Being athletic is one thing that you could do no matter where you go, you can work out. And the sport may change, but your love of sports doesn't really change. As a fifth grade teacher at Happy Hollow in Wayland, Mr. Moynihan feels strongly about incorporating immigration into the class studies. Because he is an immigrant himself, he makes sure to focus on family origins as part of his curriculum. Fifth grade or the fourth grade shifting of curriculum, I've always been a push. 
I've, I've always been making a push on the immigration units. And it's always been a part of Wayland curriculum historically. And it's nice to be a kind of a, an immigrant myself. Love studying family trees, where they came from, sharing different stories about food and the religions they shared, which I'm Catholic, for, almost certainly from Ireland. And the fun things you would do, whether it was car playing or sports. So it's been nice to be able to bring those units to my classroom mm -hmm. and now also to the whole school system. Mr. Moynihan has settled comfortably into the town of Wayland, Massachusetts and lives with his three daughters, Maeve, Michaela, and Siobhan. He is taught at Claypit Hill School and now currently teaches at Happy Hollow. Although he is happily living in America, he takes trips home often to see his family. Mr. Moynihan is an inspiration to most. The fact that he was able to leave everything behind and start a new life in a foreign place takes bravery many don't possess. He has brought his traditions, values, athleticism, and love of teaching with him, and continues to enjoy his family, friends, and jobs.